This is the best armor in Deep Boken, and it was added this Friday in the recent update. It took over two days for this armor to be discovered, as it's insanely difficult to get, as you can only get it from Wave 50 of the new Davilium event, and is so bound, meaning you cannot drop it to other people. Now, is the grind worth it for this armor piece? Well, let's go over exactly what it does. Alright guys, so this armor is actually busted, okay? So, let me actually show you guys um, what the stats are, but before I go to the stats, bro, this armor is so rare. Like, <laughs> you have to beat Wave 50 of the new event, and it's not even a guaranteed chance that Wave 50 even has this armor. It's like a it's like a 5% chance that Wave 50 has this armor, so not only do you have to get, wave to get the Wave 50, you have a 5% chance of actually getting this armor. And the worst part is, is look, I have I have a spare one, right? Seltorian Titanite. You can't even drop this. I'm, I'm spamming my uh, backspace right now. I can't drop this. You can't even put it in your bank. Like, let me go to my uh, my Chime Doling real quick. Oh, real quick. Guys, what do we? I wait, we have a wisp. But anyways, let me go to my chime uh, dwelling real quick, and let me show you guys that you can't even bank this, right? So this is the rarest armor piece in the game, but it is actually worth it. So look, we go to our bank. Uh, let me take out something real quick. Let me take out this here, and let's try to bank the bank the somatic, right? We put in the saltine uh knight, and we just can't do it. So let's put that back in there. Also, make sure you guys subscribe. I'm gonna give away this curved, but um, and like the video too. So do both, and I will give you that. But Anyways, you can't bank it, you can't drop it, but you guys may, may be wondering, what is actually the talent for this, for the rarest armor in the game, right? Oh, you just gave me, oh, you just gave me a golden ring, thank you, thank you, bud. So, what is actually the talent, right? So, let's put down a campfire and show you guys. I'm going to tell them, campfire, please. Okay, there we go. Oh, two campfires. We're getting spoiled today. So, uh, let's go to summary, um, or let me go... To blacksmiths first or okay hold on hold on let me just scroll down in talents and let me find it real quick oh i found it tide keeper it's under just creator for some reason but losing 25 percent of your health within the span of three seconds grants not only a 15 percent damage buff a 20 percent uh defense buff but it prevents you from being knocked at all in the next 10 seconds guys this is insanely busted for not even for not only PvE because bro you're getting dealt 25% of your health in the span of three seconds all the time in PvE right? Not only is it insanely busted for PvE, it's insanely busted for PvP too. And if you pair this with the Immortal Helm, which is what we actually have equipped right now, let me find it. Oh wait, I I, I don't have it equipped actually. I don't have the Immortal Helm equipped equipped, but um. Before I showcase the talent, right, let me just show you guys the stats to actually uh, craft this armor since not a lot of people have this armor because of how rare it is. It's like a 5% chance from wave 50 of the new event, which is really rare. Plus, it's so bound, so you can't even trade for it, right? So, let me go to the blacksmith real quick. All right, blacksmith, let's show the armor. So, it's healthy and tied knight, right? Bloodless gem, cloth, dark feather. So, it's basically the same ingredients, same ingredients as prophet's cloak. The armor is really good, 30% physical, 25% elemental with a amazing talent that basically makes you immortal. Um, if you pair this with like a bloodless gem build plus a mortal helmet plus this armor, you're basically unkillable. And now guys, uh, let me showcase this talent to you guys. So hit me till I say stop. Hit me till I say stop. Let, let me get some of that um, does not a lot of damage to hit me because I don't want to proc the talent yet. All right, so let's just get the 25 health. And then once we get the 25 health, I will showcase you guys the talent. Yeah, this guy does no damage, so he's not in proc time, but wait, 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 wait. All right, guys, so we have four people here to attack us. When I say go, they're all going to start attacking me, so I'm going to lose 25% of my health really fast, right? And I'm just going to showcase the talent real quick. So let's say go, and they're all going to attack you right now. Boom. Okay, that's Tidekeeper proc'd, and look, I'm not losing any health. Like, for 10 seconds, I'm basically immune. I'm at 0% health. I'm not getting knocked. I'm about to get knocked in, like, one second right now. Boom. Because it's it's immunity, complete immunity for 10 seconds, guys. Pair this with a mortal helmet, you are you're 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 safe. You're you're not getting knocked at all. I'm definitely gonna do progression where I have a mortal helmet plus the somatic on because guys, it is such an amazing talent for not only PvP. Because imagine this, imagine imagine I was on River Vendra right with this armor somatic right, River Vendra plus this armor somatic, I they. They, um, I get immunity for 10 seconds, right? I just blow this off all of them. Now, suddenly I'm back at a bar. And Tide Keeper, listen guys, Tide Keeper has a 60 second cooldown, as you guys can see from here. Bro, 10 second immunity. So realistically, it's 50 second cooldown because the, the it goes on cooldown once the talent procs. So it's 50 second cooldown. 
if you pair this with the immortal helmet which makes it so you can survive a hit um that would have killed you that's a 30 second cooldown guys pairing this with the mortal helmet will make you practically immune if you have bloodless gem um so that's the pvp potential right like um now as for pve this is really really strong for pve let me go down to the depths real quick and actually show you guys um the potential in pve real quick okay let me just heal up real quick so i'm gonna solo the divilium uh trial no cheese i'm just gonna uh solo it ex expecting to get knocked just so i can showcase the tide keeper talent for you guys okay all right so let's go down to the depths boys and let me show you guys um how good it is it's insane in pv i promise it's so good all right we're here let me just run to the marauders entrance and uh yeah guys why it's so cracked in pve because bro you're losing 25 percent of your health all the time in pve like literally all the time so yeah i'm just gonna showcase it in pve since we just showcased it in pvp but this is one of the only armors in the game guys that is really amazing for both pve and pvp and i'm definitely gonna get this from river vendra because this is this is cracked like genuinely because you guys have to keep in mind that not only does it make it so you can't get knocked for 10 seconds right it also makes it so you have a 20 percent defense boost and a 15 percent damage increase that is insane that's genuinely insane so uh yeah like imagine you're getting 5v1 by people you just proc that and now suddenly you're like a boss raid because there's so much people on you it, it the only downside guys is that it's very difficult to get it's one of the rarest armors in the game um like it's been out for two days already and i barely see anyone that has it and that's because it's like a five percent chance from wave 50 the the final wave of the Devolium event which um you guys can probably get it if you guys copy my pv build on how to solo the event but uh yeah let's just go down and showcase to this to you guys all right guys uh we're at Mirage's entrance so let me just uh do this solo and I'm, I'm expecting the wipe here just for the video but i just want to showcase like um how strong this is in pv but yeah i'm just gonna wipe here low key because um i'm not gonna be using any cheese here so let's enter alone and we're in all right guys uh i'm just gonna skip to when uh we actually proc this talent so uh yeah i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go until i wipe or until this uh armor procs this talent so let's go ahead and pull the gear shift but like i think even with, with like one live fish beam uh the talent should proc unless it just didn't do 25 percent of my health for some reason oh it does it does not work okay guys i'm not gonna lie to you guys it does not work in the dungeon the the place you get it at it doesn't even work at because i took more than 25 percent health in three seconds and it just didn't work it didn't even proc the talent at all um okay well that's good to know um, they're gonna have to fix that in the next update but when it is fixed it's gonna be so cracked but i wanted to wipe anyways because you you can only pass down this schematic and i want to make a progression with it so let me just pass it down real quick so let me pass it down inspect pass down item and there we go all right so we passed down the schematic and uh yeah that's the showcase of this new armor it does not work in the dungeon as of right now because it's it's glitch but it does work in the overworld for a pvp and it, it does work in the depths as well so you can use this for helm mode but um as of right now it does not work in the dungeon it's just glitch it'll be fixed next friday probably but uh yeah that's it for the video this armor is insane and thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys later and bye bye guys